Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new movie review on the YouTube channel. Today we're reviewing the brand new movie, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Before we get into the review, make sure you guys hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys do enjoy these movie reviews. But without further ado, let's get into my non-spoiler slash spoiler review of this movie. Going into this movie, I was pretty nervous, but I, I really actually enjoyed it. The first Black Panther movie was absolutely phenomenal and I really, really enjoyed that movie. This movie was definitely a great sequel to the first one. Obviously, you're missing that huge element of Chadwick Boseman being in the film. It, it, it sucked that he wasn't in it. Obviously, he he passed away, if you guys didn't know, uh, unfortunately, which definitely caused a redirection of this, I would say, Black Panther franchise, but in a good direction. I, I really enjoyed uh, this movie. I thought Letitia Wright did an amazing job as Shuri. She just did a great job in this film. Her acting was pretty good. Moving on to Angela Bassett. She did a great job. I'm talking about like Emmy award winning great job. She was so good in this movie. I can't express this enough. She did a great job. I have nothing to complain about her. She was amazing. I really just enjoyed her character in this movie. Everyone else did a fine job. I thought the comedy was pretty fine. There were some points that the comedy really wasn't there for me, but it, was, it wasn't It was bad comedy. It's not like these last few Marvel movies that have just been really, really ass comedy like Thor Love and Thunder. This has just been a very uh, different kind of humor, but it was not bad. Danielle Guerrera also plays Michonne in The Walking Dead. She did an amazing job, obviously, as a Koye. If you guys, she's like the best warrior. Her action scenes are absolutely phenomenal. I love when she's fighting, kicking ass with the spear. It's great. I really enjoyed her part of this film. Obviously, she was a, actually had a pretty decent big role in this film. And, and I really just, I really enjoyed it. Now, moving on to the pacing of this film, I would say that some parts were really not boring, but definitely a lot slower than others. I feel like they could have cut some stuff out of the film and we would not have lost basically anything. It, there was just some parts that were really, really tiring. Like I was, I was getting droopy, but like I wasn't falling asleep. I was just like, come on, you don't need this. Speed it up a little bit. Like, it's a three-hour long movie. This movie is a long movie, and I don't hate long movies. Obviously, Avatar The Way of Water is going to be three and a half hours long. I think it is. Uh, but I don't hate long movies. It's just spread the pacing out a little bit more. Like, it, it was just a pretty slow movie at times, but still not bad. And then moving on to the score of this film, the music. The music just added to every scene, dude. It the from the first part when obviously Chadwick Boseman has his, has his memorial and, and they have the death of T'Challa at the beginning of this film. That's not really a spoiler. You guys know that that part's gonna happen. But they have like a little memorial and it's very very heartwarming and very very sad, emotional, and it it just was a very very emotional film for me. Now I didn't cry by all means. I I definitely didn't cry, but I got teary eyed at a part which I will talk about in the spoiler section. Obviously, I'm not going to tell it in the non-spoiler review, but it definitely was a very emotional film. Going back to the music, I thought the music was phenomenal. I thought the action was pretty decent. Some parts were a little messed up and weird, but other than that, I thought the action was pretty damn good, and I was pretty impressed with it. Like I said, I love the spear fighting. I think that's absolutely badass. Ironheart, obviously badass. Awesome. Uh, a little bit too much like Iron Man at some parts, but other than that, she was great. I love that. The actor was great. It was good. All in all, I would rank this at number three spot in phase four. I thought it was a pretty good movie. Obviously, phase four wasn't very good. You guys know this. We all know this. A couple things could have been better. Other than that, I really enjoyed this film. Moving on to the spoiler review. If you guys do not want to hear any spoilers, I, I'm going to be telling them in three, two, one. So like I said, this movie starts off with basically us mourning the death of T'Challa, also Chadwick Boseman. It was really freaking sad, man. The whole beginning sequence was just a silence to Chadwick Boseman's death, and it, it was awesome. I, I really loved it, um, and it really, really was needed. It was just needed. Some of the graphics in this film were absolutely beautiful, and I loved it loved the underwater city. Namor City was freaking sick, dude. And I absolutely loved it. Wakanda was obviously amazing. It always is. But yeah, I thought the graphics were absolutely phenomenal. There was a couple deaths in this film that actually really, really surprised me. One of the huge deaths was Ramonda or the queen, Angela Bassett. Yes, she dies. I was surprised. I was like, there's no way they kill her off. But yeah, Namor 
technically drowns her. Uh, she was going to save Ironheart from drowning and ends up dying in the process, which then Shuri loses another person in her family, which makes her even more upset and more sad. But it gave her this motivation to become the Black Panther, which then you see Michael B. Jordan, and it's pretty cool. All the fight scenes were pretty epic, like I said before. Namor almost dies at the end fight scene versus Shuri, but she ends up keeping him alive, and they kind of become alliances. Not really, they just kind of go off on their own separate ways. The ending was really abrupt. They ended it really quick. I thought the end fight scene was super fast, way too fast compared to how slow the movie actually was. There obviously is going to be a next Black Panther movie. They even announced it in the after the credit scene. The end credit scene was pretty big. Nakia and T'Challa actually have a kid and his name is T'Challa. Obviously, I think this is a little recasting of Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther. But other than that, I mean, they have a kid, which was a huge... I huge huge uh end credit scene i guess it, it was a good end credit scene but other than that that has been my review of black panther wakanda forever i know it was kind of everywhere my reviews are pretty bad i'm still working on getting better at them if you guys want to see more movie reviews let me know down in the comment section below if you guys want to follow my letterboxd where i have another review on there as well uh for the five out of five score or whatever stars i give it uh go check that out down in the description below thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next movie review peace